Welcome to our video on how to create your first report. To create a new report, click the open menu icon and select new and then report. On the resulting templates tab, select two rows, click the themes tab, select blue and click create. To add data, click the select the source button and navigate to team content, samples, by industry, banking, data, select banking loss events and click open. At the top of the report, double click the report title placeholder and type and click OK. To add a visualization to the report, click the plus icon in the first row of the template and select visualization. In the resulting visualization gallery, click line and click OK. To populate the visualization with data, expand the tree and double click year, which will put it in the X axis slot by default. Double click region to add it to the color slot and double click net loss to add it to the Y axis slot. To sort the years from highest to lowest, click year, click the sort icon in the context toolbar and select ascending. To create a filter to only show the years from 2018 to 2020, with year still selected, click the filters icon and select create custom filter. Select 2017, 2018, page down, select 2019 and 2020. All four are added and click OK. To size the line visualization, click on the visualization to select it and notice how the properties are now specific to the line chart. Click the ellipsis button beside the size property and set the following. Width 700 pixels, height 300 and click OK. Above the line visualization, double click the title placeholder and type and click OK. Now we will add a cross tab to the report. To do that, click the plus icon in the bottom row of the template and select cross tab. The line chart we just created gets its data from query one. Since we will be using different data in our cross tab, we will create another query. Note, queries determine what data items appear in the report. Sometimes you want detailed rows of data, which you obtain by dragging and dropping columns, creating a simple select statement. Other times you must calculate totals or averages using summary functions and group columns, or must apply filters to show only the data you want. Reporting automatically creates the queries you need as you build reports. However, you can modify these queries or create your own custom queries to get the results you want. In the resulting dialog here, accept the defaults by clicking OK, and we're going to make another query. To populate the cross tab with data, go back to the Sources tab and double click Risk Category. To add it to the rows, double click year to add it to the columns, and double click net loss to put it into measures. To sort the values for risk category in alphabetical order, in the cross tab, select risk category, click sort, and select ascending. To sort the years from lowest to highest, Click Year in the cross tab 
and select Sort Ascending. With Year still selected, click Horizontal Alignment and click Right. This will line up the label with the numbers. To size the cross tab, select it by clicking the three dots and set the following property size and overflow width 90% to give us some space and click OK. Above the new cross tab, double click the title placeholder and type and click OK. To preview the report, click Run, and you will see the report opens in a new browser tab. This is called the Interactive Viewer, and we can perform core actions on the report output using the Context Toolbar. For example, by selecting on Data, we have these functions available. Let's go back to the report. To add row and column totals to the cross tab, select any measure, click Summarize in the context toolbar, and click Total. To preview the report without running it, click the Edit slider in the top application bar. Notice the cross tab totals now. Click the edit slider again. To impress your colleagues, you can try adding some of the items in the toolbox to your reports. If you ever need to modify the underlying queries behind this report, you would click Report, Queries, to see them. And in our case, we have two, one for each of the two charts we created. And you can double click an individual query to see what's underneath or to edit it. Congratulations, you have learned how to create your first report. You can save the report into My Content and open it up again later. Thank you for watching our video on how to create your first report. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about using IBM Cognos Analytics 11.